and you're watching 1700 here with Jenna and Kelly. Before those lovely clips, we were having a nice chat with the fantastic Nikita. And right now we do have her back for a bit more of a chat. And we wanted to ask you, um, on your YouTube account, you recently uploaded a 10 year challenge video um, of where you had covered Taylor Swift's track White Horse um, back when you were 13. Um, what's it like looking back on your music and how much has changed since then? Um, I know that that track reminds me of when I first started singing lessons at the Refinery School of Music. I, the first lesson that I had, my singing teacher had said my voice was so husky, so bad um, that I sounded like a 40 year old smoker. As oh, a kid, wow. I was only, I would have been only thirteen, and so stepping in the studio after a year of practicing White Horse, it was it was a really good feeling recording that. But it's an amazing feeling looking back and looking just how far I've come with you know ten years, what ten years has done. So very, yeah. I can't really describe it. <laughs> so, yeah. Amazing. Well, you covered a Taylor Swift song there. If you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, for a new track, who would it be and why? Um, <laughs> I feel like I'd, it would be, it would have to be Martin Garrix. I just love the dynamics of how he structures his music. And I feel like I'd really want to collab with him. Yeah. And you have spent a lot of time um, crafting your style as well. You've done the busking, performing at cafes, bars, pubs. Um, but what have these experiences taught you? Um, I feel like they've taught me um, just like to be more relaxed. I feel, I do feel a little bit more relaxed having performing in. Um, venues like doing it a lot more it's made me feel a lot more relaxed so yeah <laughs> as Kelly mentioned you performed all over Victoria is there something particularly special about performing home in Melbourne for you yeah I, I feel like it's home to me and it feels right it feels right you know just being home and performing I would however love to venture off to wherever I can to sing and perform. But yeah, Mel Melbourne's always been home, something, you know, to come back to. So very close to my heart. <laughs> and what are the dream venues to play at? Are, are you more of a festival type performer or would you prefer to go on your own gig tour? Um, recently, I had gone to the St Kilda Festival with my sister and I had seen some bands performing on that big stage and I feel like I would love to have the opportunity to sing at least one song on that stage <laughs> <laughs> so that's definitely on my dream board <laughs> well you're only 22 and we spoke a lot about all the incredible things you've done and sort of how your career really started for you when you were 13 but what advice would you give to any young people watching at home wanting to pursue a career in the media industry and in you know music from your experience? Well, I would say just keep on pushing for it. Like it's a, it is a slow process, but it's very rewarding and you know, you're almost there. Like just keep pushing, you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, yeah. performing for us and having a bit of a chat. Where can all our viewers go check you out on the socials? So I've got a website under nikitamusic.net and you'll find some links to my media um, like Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, so just on nikitamusic.net. Well, you can go check Nikita out there. Thank you again for coming in today here on 1700. We're going to go to a few more clips and we'll be back very shortly with our clip of the week.